There are so many jobs out there. What do you know about them? We will ask some hardworking people. What do you do? Hi, it's Eric. Today we're going to interview Mary Parks. She's a nurse at the Medical Center at the NIH. Hi, Mary. How are you doing? Hi, Eric. I'm happy to be here. So, Mary, could you tell me a little bit about what it means to be a nurse and how your job is at the NIH? Well, that's actually two different questions, Eric. What it means to be a nurse is to take care of patients uh, here in a hospital or in an outpatient setting. But my job is a little bit different than that because I don't actually take care of patients. I help to t take care of the whole safety program in the hospital. So we look at all the things that might go wrong or things that we didn't anticipate happening and seeing how we can fix that so it doesn't happen again. So things like patient falls or a power outage or construction that needs to happen or emergencies that happen in our community, even like the pandemic. How can we respond to that and make it better for both our workers and our patients here in the hospital? So how did you actually become a nurse? What was your motivation? Did you always know that you wanted to be a nurse? Well, my mom says I always knew from a little girl I was gonna be a nurse and I always liked taking care of people. Even as a teenager, I worked at a nursing home and in the activities department so that I could do bingo and do ceramics with patients. And so from there, I just started being interested in medicine and learning about medicine and I liked working with people. And so it just was a natural fit for me to go to nursing school. So I went to nursing school and then I started working at a community hospital. And then I moved to work with the Cancer Institute, the National Cancer Institute, NCI, that folks may have heard about. And um, I came here to the NIH to work um, for them, for the Cancer Institute, learning about uh, diseases that we are exploring to find research for. So things that we don't know how to treat, we explore those opportunities here at NIH. So it's a little bit different than your community hospital because we do research here, which uh, not every community hospital does that. So it's kind of a unique setting. So we don't always know what the answer is when you come in, but we have lots of doctors and nurses and scientists working on what those, um, what those solutions might be for you as a patient. Yeah, the, the last couple of interviews we've done, uh, we've talked to a neurologist, twice and they both are working on different sciences there were one was working on Alzheimer's uh, mm -hmm. and the science behind why it's happening and the other one is working on um, brain tumors and tumors and things like you know like uh, the genetic reason that they happen and stuff like that so all that research is going on at the NIH as well right as well so as the pandemic that we're in right now we're looking for studies that will help solve that problem in our community. So we're looking for a solution right here at NIH. So you might find a solution to that pandemic one day coming right here from Bethesda. That is a fantastic job, by the way. <laughs> I just want to thank you for doing what you're doing. <laughs> um, do you have any interesting stories uh, from your job? It doesn't have to deal with the pandemic right now, but anything that comes up that came up like in your life that you thought was kind of interesting. Well, there's lots of interesting things as a nurse. You know, when you interact with the public, you get lots of stories. But I'm going to tell you a funny story that happened to me when I was a young nurse. I worked at a community hospital and I was new at nursing. And so I would go in, I was on the night shift and I got pulled to another floor and I would go in every hour or so to check on my patients. And, you know, I was making sure they didn't need any medications or help to go to the bathroom or anything. And on my last trip through this one patient's room, he call, calls out to me, hey nurse, come here. And so I went over to him and I was like, do you need something? And he's like, no, no, I just want to know why you're coming in my room all the time. And he goes, so I planned on scaring you the last time you came in. And he did exactly that. <laughs> so you never know what's going to happen with patients. You know, you can anticipate some medical problems, but you never anticipate the characters that are laying in those beds who just want to scare you. 
So as a new nurse, I was totally not expecting that. And so it was just one of those opportune moments to talk with a patient who was in the hospital, who clearly had a great sense of humor and just wanted to interact with me on a different level than on medicine. And so you just never know who you're going to meet. And so I think that that's one of the things that I've learned as a nurse is that even when people are sick, you know, they just want to connect with you as an individual and it makes their illness be that much more tolerable when you can connect with another person and talk with them about a medical problem that you're having. So it was just one of those things as a brand new nurse that I wasn't really anticipating, but it has stuck with me for my 35 years in nursing. So it's one of the things that happens when you have a, a one of what I would call the social jobs. The social jobs are like nursing, anything that deals with the public. You really don't know what's going to happen at any time. Anything could happen. And it makes it very interesting. There's different types of jobs out there, kids. Some of them are where you're in an office working by yourself, and others are where you in interact with the public. And be aware that they're very different. You have to decide as you grow up what you want to do. A lot of people get into nursing and jobs, like librarian, for example, because they want to deal with people. Mm -hmm. And it really is a skill, actually. And it's a lot of fun if you know how to deal with it. So, and sometimes it's not fun, of course. But you know, it just, it just deal, you just deal with it. You know, so you have to decide as you grow up what you want to do, and that's one of the things. If you want to be a social job or a job where you like work at a desk or something like that. So, so thank you for that story. Well, there's so much about nursing. I mean, people can go into nursing and go into all different fields, and I, I know that. Um, when we think of a nurse, you think of the nurse in the white outfit or in, in scrubs that we see on television, but there really are lots of opportunities for nurses. And you're not stuck in one job for you know your whole career. I've been a nurse for over 35 years and I've done a lot of different jobs. This job that I have now, I I've learned so much about construction that I never thought that I would need to know or about medical equipment. And you know, the nurses on the floor take that for granted because there's somebody else in the background looking at that for them. But there's so many different opportunities from nursing. You can go on and get your master's in public health and learn about the pandemic and how we can help. There's opportunities to work with hospital epidemiology, which are the folks like Dr. Fauci, who are looking at infectious diseases and helping to protect all of us on the front line. And so there are so many opportunities. You can deliver babies, you can work in the emergency room, you can work on a cruise ship, you can, you know, pretty much go anywhere you want in the world and there's going to be a need for medical people. And so there's just so many opportunities for you in the medical world as a nurse or starting as a nurse, it's, it's a great background to really um, find out where you really want to be in life. I think that I love nursing because I like connecting with people. I like taking care of people. And so it's a perfect job for me. And other people have found that it's a perfect job for them because they like the recovery room. They like the science. They like the research. And there's just so many different opportunities that you have in the medical field by starting off as a nurse or even uh, having your whole career as a registered nurse. It's, it's a great career. I am so glad you spoke about that because that's one thing I always forget to mention is that, that within a career, there are other like other branches you can take in any job, really. I mean, um, as a scientist, you can go into research science, you can go into uh, clinical re research, you can go into research for a company. You can also yep. go through in, into the administrative section yep. of those companies as well. So there's many different routes you can take in your career. So you're not stuck to one thing within a career. You can always move about. So you really got to figure out what your major focus is. And then from there, you can take it in any direction that you find. And the good thing about it is that you can live anywhere. You don't, yeah. You're not in just one place. You don't have to live here in Maryland or in New York. You can live in Hawaii or Alaska or in Europe someplace. So it's a great opportunity <laughs> to learn something that you can take with you wherever you go. But I will say this, Maryland is pretty nice. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> so my last question is, um, what advice would you give a kid? But you kind of answered that already. Would you? Is there anything else you want to add, uh, add to that? Uh, who would want to go into nursing? Well, I think like you said, you really have to like working with people because you get to meet all kinds of people, people that you really connect with and people that you don't quite understand. And people who may be 
communicate differently than you. And I, I don't mean that just by language, but by about how people act in public. And people that are in the medical, that have medical problems come with lots of different medical problems. And so you're often interacting with people on the worst day of their life. And so you have to learn to love people for who they are and help them. And you really have to enjoy helping people. So I think being a nurse, you really have to enjoy working with all kinds of people. And, um, but I think that you have to also enjoy science because you have to understand how the human body works and appreciate that there's doctors that are pediatricians to take care of little kids. There's neurologists, there's orthopedic doctors. And we all have our specialties, but learning to work together as a team for the patient really is the best thing. And I think that having good communication skills and liking science and loving people is going to make you a great nurse or medical professional, whatever you choose. Thank you very much, Mary. Um, we wish you all the best in the future with your future endeavors. Thank and you. Thank you again for helping us out. Great, thanks, Eric.